Elm City Compass is a pilot program the city launched in November of last year. Since then, they've served more than 275 people. It's going well, they say so well, they plan to expand it this year. I think that people just want to be seen. They want to be heard. Sarah Alkire and Annette Campbell are part of the Compass team. They respond with police and fire whenever someone is in crisis, whether it's dealing with mental health, homelessness, or substance issues. We've gone to a number of different calls and I think in every call we play a role in trying to help someone. From November to January, the Compass team has been busy. 70% of all the 250 crisis responses were to provide assistance due to mental health or substance use challenges. And the team connects people to resources, but there is one problem. It's no uh, surprise to anyone probably that we have a shortage of beds, uh, insufficient housing and the experience of wait lists after wait lists after wait list. That's why Compass workers keep in touch with clients weeks and months after the initial connection to make sure they get the help they need. And the city is doing what it can to tackle the problem by building more affordable housing and offering transitional supports. Often the transition between the streets and into housing can be a really difficult one and we recognize that. As for police, they say that support is needed. It's a breath of fresh air to have uh, the backing of we can call someone else who has better skills than us for other things. But your job is to be there for them, not to judge them. And that's what I let them know. I'm here to help you. I don't, I don't care that you fell. Let's worry about what we're going to do to get you back up. Right now, the Compass team works seven days a week, but they only work from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. In July, they plan to double their team and expand their hours from 8 a.m. to midnight. We're in New Haven, Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.